Rigby's Entertainment Complex and Waterworld. It's another hidden gem of Georgia. <laughs> So for today I was traveling through Warner Robins, Georgia, and I decided to take a pit stop here at uh, Rigby's Entertainment Complex and Waterworld. Now for people who followed my channel for a while, they know that I hang out at a lot of these entertainment complexes, go-kart tracks, and arcades, and this is probably among my favorite ones. So I've been to quite a few family fun centers that are kind of tired and run down. I enjoy coming to Rigby's because this place is modern and well maintained. They also have a lot of great attractions here. There's a impressive mini golf course. They've got a nice water park. And the arcade is top notch. They got mini bowling and pool tables and all kinds of Im impressive um, attractions. According to their website, they have one of the largest interactive slide complexes and water playgrounds in the entire country. And I believe it. It is pretty large considering uh, the, the amount of land they're working with here. I think you can tell by the video footage that um, my most recent trip, the weather was kind of crappy. So I focused most of my time inside the arcade and, you know, played a little pool. And I'm not much for roller skating, but I can appreciate that they have some roller skating here for people who want to go old school. The food at the snack bar was pretty reasonably priced, although the portions were a little on the small side. And the arcade games were, you know, what you would expect. Most games were a single token. Although there were, you know, obviously some of the sit-down games that were, you know, four tokens to play. So what's my bottom line for the Rigby's Entertainment Complex and Waterworld? This place is kind of dead center in the state of Georgia. You know, there's really no theme park near here. The closest thing they've got is Six Flags Over Georgia in Atlanta and Wild Adventures to the south. But those are pretty far out. This is clearly built for the locals. And it's really well done for just a family fun center. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for, you know, burning a couple hours while you're near Warner Robins. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe.